Good morning and welcome to myself, Mac Blogs, aka Ian. It's pre travel day. I said it. Pre travel day to Orlando. I've tried to keep it a secret. I have kept it a secret uh, from everyone that I kind of know because I will be surprising my family over in Orlando at Walt Disney World um, and I'll be doing some own thing as well over in Orlando. So today I am at Birmingham NEC, just about a weekend uh, event, but it is, what time is it just now, half past seven in the morning. I'm going to go and get my uh, COVID test for my flight tomorrow. So mm. I don't know why I'm nervous or anxious because I don't have any symptoms, but I don't know, it still feels just like unknown, I suppose. But anyway, I need to talk less and I need to go. So let's go. So test done, bit of confusion, express test were saying that my time at half past eight wasn't going to meet the standards, the 24 hour standards because I fly out at 10 past 10 tomorrow morning. However, I did tell them that the CDC do say one day. So yeah, uh, I'm going to go back off this tram now, which goes between the NEC and Birmingham Airport. Um, and yeah, we can talk about that. So back in my hotel room. Um, so. I don't know if I explained, I'm staying in a hotel room because I am at an event this weekend at NEC Birmingham so you can see those videos um, talk fest uh, that they're called so the reason I'm at talk fest and these kind of events is just basically learning more how to make better content uh, going forward so anyway done my test as you know <laughs> I've walked into the, the, the hotel room got that result back it's became, became back negative so such a relief um, that it's done um, but just back on that confusion, uh, if you want to call it, the gentleman taking my QR code that I had to scan at Express Test advised that it's 24 hours uh, and some flights are being um, really picky. I, I just don't know why that is. It's, as far as I know, it's the day before or one day before uh, from CDC. Don't take my advice, but I've just stuck with both tests. Um, purely because of the convenience where I am uh, from Birmingham Airport. I'm not flying from Birmingham Airport, I'm flying from Manchester uh, tomorrow morning. So make sure you keep around uh, and subscribe, all that stuff uh, to see those videos. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the answer is uh, for that. So just giving you my experience there. Um, as stressful as it is, just waiting for the results to come back. But to have that as well come back. Uh, or go through that process to say that it might not be accepted. Um, so try and stick to the 24 hour rule would be my advice, just based on what, what happened to me there. Uh, if your flight's at 10 o'clock in the morning the next day, which mine is, um, make it for 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock the day before uh, in the morning or something or whatever. Uh, so the 24 hour period. But yeah, there you go. Bit of confusion to start my day. But anyway, I am going to go to this event today. I will pick this back up again uh, for yourselves where I'm going to go back to the, air the airport and get my other test done and get that result through and it will be driving tonight up to Manchester to check into the Radisson Blue Hotel, air at the airport hotel, uh, Radisson Blue, I'll show you that room, chat some more, get excited for Orlando 
and then yeah, uh, tomorrow will be official travel day back to Orlando. So, looking forward to it. Can't wait. Stick around. So that's me done just now at Talk Festival. Basically halfway through it. Um, I'll see if I can go back in for a few more hours, see what's new, listen to some panels. But for now, I'm going to go get my COVID test. So let's go and get the second COVID test of the day uh, and get it out of the way. So let's go. See this tram thing that goes back and forth from NAC to Birmingham Airport? It's just amazing, I think. Just reminds me of Orlando. Look, even looking at that, reminds me of getting on the first monorail to Orlando, or well, in Orlando. It even tells you when the next one's coming. There you go, there's here, one minute. So, lateral flow number two, done, test done. Uh, I'm going to just float about uh, in the airport just now. There is computers and a printer that you need to pay for, I'm going to use, um, and then just print them off. Print off this morning's one and print off uh, this afternoon's one as well, that one there. So, I'm just going to get a coffee just now and wait for the result to come in. So, second result in. The second test, and of course, uh, it's negative and it's all good. So I'm going to go get some change and print the uh, print them off using the airport printer. Well, back in the car, that has been a day and a half. I am really tired, so um, yeah, I've just finished the event at Talk Fest for the weekend. I have got something to eat, got a subway, so I'm going to enjoy that just now before I head over to Manchester Airport. Uh, I'm staying at the Radisson Blue. I've got a nice room, got a runway view, I've also got access to the lounge as well, uh, so if you want to see that, stick around. But yeah, just really looking forward to, to getting to Orlando now. That's me finished with the event, like I said. I can relax. I've done the two COVID tests, one this morning, one this afternoon. Um, the main reason, or you know, maybe thinking why did I book two, I booked one, first of all, uh, for one, one o'clock in the afternoon for today, a few weeks ago. Um, but then I thought to myself, I would maybe looking to get away earlier because there's issues with uh, the M56 or something. Uh, getting to Manchester so I thought I might as well book an earlier one so I booked an earlier one looking to maybe cancel the, the afternoon one later on when I had time or look for a refund or something I don't know but so I booked the early one went to the early one I was then told that advice in regards to the 24 hours thing so I just kept the, the, the one o'clock in the afternoon one time slot in went back done that one results came through okay of course and then I went and printed it off, like you've seen, so... But anyway, I am tired, I, however, I'm going to get something to eat, and then we'll get on our way to Manchester Airport. I should also mention before I go, or before I drive to Manchester, is I've booked the T2 meet and greet parking as well, so it's a, I've done the T1 before, that's just kind of road level um, for parking, and then you go through the motions. But for T2, I believe it is, I think it's the T2 East multi-storey car park and it's level D all the way up to the roof level of the multi-storey car park. And then that's where you kind of get your car checked in and then parked up and that's it. And then I'll, I'll head to the, the hotel, switch off, relax and get into Orlando mode. So I just thought I'd let you know that just in case you're looking to park your car uh, before you you jet off like myself so yeah but I'm gonna get this subway it smells too, it just smells too good
Bloop. It's a free for all. Don't know why it's always me, or is it always me, that gets lost whilst trying to drive around the airport. Just me. <laughs> Try to find this T2 meet and greet car park. So that's T3. That's T1. I think I go around to the right here. They certainly don't make it easy. So I am going for East Multi T2 East Multi. Oh, this must be it here. T2 East Multi. So, and I think I go up the spiral. Oh, it's let me in, so that's a good sign. Let's cue some music I think, because this is going to take a little while. And just like that, that's the car parked up. No more driving for a while, which even saying sounds amazing. I am walking through this bridge, this link, hopefully between Terminal 2 there, which is the departures which I'll be going to, and the hotel that I'm staying at tonight, which is the Radisson Blue Hotel. So I'm gonna get checked in, and let's have a look at this amazing room that I've got. I've spent a little bit of money, even though I'm only going to be in it for a few hours. But yeah, let's, let's go and get checked in. That's why I chill, put the bag down, and just relax. So yeah, nearly there. Literally a short walk to Harrison Blue Hotel, Manchester Airport. So I have been in the room a few minutes now and wow, amazing. This is an amazing room with an amazing view. Wait till you have a look at this view, run me view. <laughs> Hello Manchester Airport. <laughs>
and I am flying with Virgin. So I booked a package deal, package holiday with Virgin Holidays, flying with Virgin Atlantic, and Virgin sitting waiting for me tomorrow. Hopefully, <laughs> don't leave without me. Amazing view. A quick scan of the room just now. I'll do if you've watched my videos or you watch my channel, you follow me. I will do a separate video just on the room itself, but have a look at this room. If I remember, I'll put the, the price in this video, but I always put it in my other video. Free waters and coffee machines, shortbread, new cups, new glasses. Very fancy. Even in the the wardrobe. Got iron, iron board, leg press, trouser press, some robes. Yeah, it's just it's a really nice room. Obviously I did pay a lot of money for it for one night, but uh, you work hard, play hard day, so that's the way it goes. They have a nice big shower, look at the size of the shower, it's huge. So the wall to wall, overhead shower, and the handheld, 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 and me, handheld shower. I don't know if I'm allowed to, to take these, am I allowed to take these? Are these complimentary? Shower caps and conditioner and vanity kit. Mm. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? We a shower cap on the plane. So I'm only going to sit in this chair for two minutes because oh, I end up falling asleep. I'm going to go and check out the the lounge as well. So not the airport lounge. For I'm going to see that tomorrow. Um, I am going to have a look at the hotel lunch. So this is an executive room with a runway view and access to the wee private lounge, a little private lounge that they have on this level for the executive level. So I've got that access as well. So I'm going to have a look at that, see what I get, see if it's worth it for the, the price that we pay. So I'm going to have a look at that. I'm just going to chill for a little bit and then I'll do a recap and overview of what I've had to do today, so with the COVID testing and the other forms, etc. So let's go and have a look at the lounge and relax a little bit. So, back in the room to chill now until I fly out to Orlando tomorrow morning. So, to recap, I have, what have I done today? I've done so much this weekend, done a lot of driving, that's for sure. i um, was glad not to be driving for, uh, for a little while now, but to recap, I am surprising my family over in Orlando. I am... Not going to give too much away of where I'm staying etc, so that's going to be in my travel video, so obviously I'm flying out tomorrow, look out for that video and all that information is going to be there. Um, I have done all the, well, I've done the tests, and two tests, uh, one test, you only need to do one test, just get the timing right, but you know my experience today, and I have drove 
driven uh, to Manchester Airport and stayed in this beautiful room, this beautiful hotel. And yeah, that's that's really it. I've completed the forms, the Ask Ten Station form, we want how you ever you say it. So I've done that form. I've tried to check in online, but that's that's not working. I got to the end and it says there's an error. Uh, so hopefully that's not bad news, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just go and check in at the desk as normal. But yeah, um, it's been a pretty fully packed, fun packed weekend. It's been a blur, to be honest. From from Friday, Saturday and today, it's just been crazy. So I'm going to end it there because I'm really tired. Uh, I want to get a decent sleep, some, some hours in before getting up and going to Orlando tomorrow. So you know what to do. If you follow me, you subscribe to me, appreciate you all. Just give me a like, comment, all that fun stuff. Really appreciate it. It keeps keeps me motivated. It keeps the channel growing. It gets the information out there. And if you haven't subscribed, then you know what to do as well. You need to click subscribe. And you'll see my future content, uh, hopefully as well. So, anyway, I'm off to bed. Until next time, it will be the travel vlog to Orlando, Florida. See you then. Bye-bye.